Police have not yet revealed any kind of motive, but you can hear King yelling, shoot me in one witness video. Social media posts up until just a few weeks ago gave no indication that anything like this could be coming. Selfies posted on Instagram show Alex King smiling, hanging with friends like any other teenager. But Saturday night, go, 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 go! Tarpon Springs police saw a much different side of 17-year-old Alexander King. Here, corner block, right here. He's got a gun. Just before 9:30 p.m., officers responded to the area of Alternate 19 and Tarpon Avenue. There was a white male wearing dark clothing and pointing a military-style rifle at people. In witness video, you can hear him yelling to officers. Chief Jeff Young said King brought the weapon up to his shoulder, charged it, and took aim at officers who were taking cover behind a vehicle. The two officers, in fear for theirs and the lives of others, fired multiple rounds each at the subject. The police were behind their um, ballistic shields, and uh, immediately afterwards, uh, two of the officers came over and started administering uh, CPR. King was pronounced dead at the hospital. Investigators say he was an 11th grade student at Tarpon Springs High School, and his weapon, upon closer inspection, was an airsoft rifle. Back in March, King posted four photos and a video with the caption, New Airsoft Vietnam Era M14. I absolutely love it. He's had 22 past interactions with law enforcement, including two felony arrests, one for battery on a school board employee in 2017 and one for aggravated battery with a deadly weapon in 2018. It's unclear yet what led King to this intersection Saturday night. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the family and friends of Alex King. The officers involved in the shooting are on paid administrative leave while Florida Department of Law Enforcement investigates. Our thoughts and prayers are with our officers and their families as they too deal with the aftermath of this event. The Tarpon Springs police referred all questions to FDLE, which is currently conducting interviews and reviewing evidence. Uh, this is a lot to process for King's friends and classmates. Pinellas County Schools tells me they will have guidance counselors on hand for staff or students who may need them. Mark. Haley Hines at Tarpon Springs PD. Haley, thanks.